Okay, I finished the uh, pulsed inverted jewel thief the project I've been working on, and I've got it boxed. And um, the last thing was to figure out the switch. I needed a double pull, double throw switch arrangement to swap batteries back and forth. And that's the uh, that's the circuit I'm using for swapping the batteries. It has a center position off on the switches, so you can turn the battery off completely, and then it goes uh, one way to charge or one way to to drive. And um, they work together. You know, it came out pretty good. It's a strange little thing. It's a lot different than what I've, I've built before, but uh, it works pretty darn good. There it is. And uh, it's um, it's using a couple of uh, Radio Shack uh, lead acid batteries, and they're A and B batteries. And these are the two uh, double pull, double throw switches for the charging or um, driving part of it. This controls the uh, 555 timer. That's how I'm uh, adjusting the whole circuit. Was that's the 75k pot on the the timer. This right here I left outside. It's the voltage regulator, and uh, I can make the light go brighter or, or dimmer by just adjusting the the um, voltage going to it. And that plus this right here, I have pretty good adjustment on everything. Now I've got a, a, a way to charge the batteries up with the wall outlet. It's like this thing right there. Or the solar panel. And I'll probably be using the solar panel on the boat here. And that's all I'll need to charge these things up. This will run for days and days uh, just by flipping these batteries back and forth. Depending on how much you're driving it. So anyway, this turned out pretty neat. I'm pretty happy with it. And like I say, you just uh, flip the switches back and forth depending on how you want the uh, the charging to go. And um, worked out pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. I call it a halo light. That's that's what I named it, the um, self-charging halo light. And uh, it's, um, it's just in a plastic box. Inside there are the two lead acid batteries that fit in there. And then uh, a mound of circuitry. And uh, there's the... The toroid sits in the back of the box right there so that you can uh, keep an eye on things. But uh, I left this out here so you could feel it and see if it's getting hot. I'm going to unplug this right now. And uh, you, uh, like I say, you can turn the, the juice down just by di dialing this thing down here. And you can make this go right on down to where it stops or dial it back up again. And the way you get it to go is you, uh, you turn the dials down. I'll turn this way down and show you how it works. This is dialed way down. And like at night, if you want a little night light on, you just dial that way on down like that. And it uses uh, 20, 30 milliamps and then at about 6 volts. And then if you want the light, you um, turn the voltage back up and then crank on this. And then the, uh, the light comes on bright. And then once you've got it going, then you flip on your charge battery. And now it's charging on whatever battery you want to charge. Right now the, the B battery was down, so I'm charging it off of the A battery. And it happens with this uh, collapsing field of that coil. Every time that thing collapses, it shoots a back spike through a diode into a battery. And it's the most bizarre thing to watch it happen, but it, it does work. It's, it's an amazing thing to watch. And then you just swap batteries back and forth. Now, it's not over unity. This all is, uses energy. But it's, it's a way of capturing some of the used energy uh, from the collapsing field of that coil in there. So anyway, this was a fun project. I had a lot of fun with it. And I, I call it the halo light. Now, I've got a supervisor that's going to be watching over this to make sure everything's going okay. Yeah, he's got to he's got to watch over this and make sure it's going to work okay. See, anyway, he's been a great helper in the whole project. He's been watching the watching the progress here, and uh, between those two of them, I've got some pretty good light systems now. It's been a lot of fun.